So uh, let me go through this handout. Uh, like this one uh, is an outline to uh, purely that it gives you uh, idea of the uh, the shape of the pedals. But we don't really do the outline pedals in freestyle. Um, I will use the peony brush we have. So this is the peony brush I specially uh, designed uh, and ordered from a, a brush making friend in China. It's a soft brush. You can use any soft brush. White col colored bristles usually. So when we start painting, we always soak the brush. It's said by some old artists that um, the first 15 minutes after the brush is, is soaked is the best. Just make sure the brush is entirely soaked. Otherwise, the bottom, if the bottom is dry, it will not hold the shape together. So you need to use the whole brush. The whole brush is soaked. But don't, uh, don't put it in the water for too long. Just completely soak it and then use the finger to squeeze out the extra moisture before you load the... Uh, I use big brush, but you can use this small version also. So for you, you can use this size. Maybe I, I just want to illustrate the idea, so I use bigger brush. And I, I load the brush with a little water and uh, some uh, white first. Some white to make it like a cream uh, milk. So you need to dilute this part uh, with water. And then a little bit rouge to make a light pink. It's about half or, or two thirds. Then a little more. In one, one, about a one third. And then finally some pure rouge. You can use the peony red. It's another name of, of the uh, color in, in Maris. 24 color series. So this one is in the Maris 12. I think. Okay, and uh, if you look at the, the real peony, peony here, uh, the outer petals are big. If you look at from a side view, you can see the in inner petals are uh, smaller. The inner petals here is smaller outer pedals is big. So we start from the outer pedals. Uh, so the, the sequence is uh, one, two, three. So you start from the center. Start from the center. Let's, uh, let's do this flower here. <coughs> so the, the dark pointing to the root or the stem. The uh, stem, okay. And uh, just keep the gradation this, this way and then push the brush horizontally. Yeah. While you, uh, you can you can separate the one from two, right? So the pedal two is on uh, this side. It could be the number three, if you will, if you do that side first, and then push a little horizontally. So uh, this radiates from the center, right? Like that. Uh, that's first the layer. Then you can reload the brush if need needed, or just continue with the... So that's why I use larger brush, it lasts longer. This is a double showing, it absorbs a lot, so you might need to reload. Uh, you can add another layer on top. Uh, my teacher's style is uh, Shanghai school, and uh, we don't really depict the little notches on the pedal, just very easy, okay, just like that. Basically, do another layer on top, but uh, use the dark to cut in the light. You can change the the shape if you cut in uh, to the the white, or you can just leave more white. You know, in, so that's also okay. Don't have to fill in all the blanks here, the the water lines here. But you know, you can vary that. Um, just. So we don't touch the water line. We kind of uh, go outside you can, the water line. You can you can touch the water line if you need it. Okay. To, yeah, the, the, you, you can certainly cut in the water, okay. but don't have to fill in all the 
line. You don't draw this line. So uh, just keep con continue this way. You can you can reload, but uh, this time a little tricky. I just use the uh, white on the bottom, right? just like that. So it's more white, and then red on the front. So it's keep the gradation uh, instead of wash the whole brush. This is a little tricky. Um, and then do another layer on the bottom, uh, like this here. Mm -hmm. Uh, the dark should go in towards the center, but there are some like a uh, foreshortened view, so you don't worry about that. Just do the side view first, easy, All right? Like that, and then just use the light to fill in this. Try not to make it uh, two sides symmetrical. So this side mm -hmm. may be heavier. This uh, there's a side view. You can you uh, sometimes like this one is full broom. If, if if this part falling down further, so this goes up a little more. That's uh, also possible. So you know that center could be high, like a tower, towering shape. That's a full broom uh, side view. You can do uh, like a, a front view. Uh, you see the stamens there. Uh, <coughs> let me see, should I use different color? Let's see if I can do that. I just use whatever I've got. I can do a yellow one, maybe. Some white. I try to do this fly, so it's a little uh, yellowish kind of. So we can also use uh, this color for the center. <coughs> so we can start from uh, the middle. We leave some space for the stamen, and you can add some darker ones. This brush is a little smaller. You need to use the whole bottom uh, to get the larger stroke. Not all the petals are in front of the uh, leaf, so you may do some leaves first, then add more flowers uh, behind the leaf. So this opaque green, we need to use ink to mute it, otherwise it's too pastel. Maybe some dark ink. So 
the leaves in Chinese uh, painting is in black, basically a uh, gray. Uh, notice the, the shape of the flower uh, purely is like an uh, oval with point. So, like that. But the tree peony has a wider uh, shape. They come in group of nine uh, or three in small group. It's like a, like that. You overlap several groups. Actually, the leafy part may be the most difficult part. Yeah. Um, the reason is uh, it's free. So it, sh it shows your your uh, skill more actually. Um, so you can follow this hand up. So it doesn't have to be three pieces no, all the uh, time? No, not, not uh, all the time. Okay. But it's good to know the three. Um, the tender leaves uh, are lighter near the top of the flower. You can, you can use the leaf to shape the, the flowers. You know, some uh, I call it dirty color, or muddy color. Mm -hmm. uh, if you use adequate amount of uh, uh, water, it, it turns not nice. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, I don't wash my palette. That's why I just use the color on the palette. Um, you, some artists do the light uh, and the dark on different sides of the. Leaf, you know, you can you can distinguish that, or you can use light on um, light flowers, dark on um, dark darker flowers. Just like you do bamboo leaves, you know, in a group manner. So don't have to be one stroke per leaf. Mm. Uh, I would combine several strokes with veins later uh, to define the, the leaves. And let's see. We can add uh, something else. I didn't wash the flower brush just for this. This is the calyx.
I think the the most uh, uh, skillful part is the, the veins. You need to uh, do it before the leaves get too dry, otherwise it will be too stiff. Uh, so you want to do it when it's still damp. And uh, on the dark ones, you can use dark ink. Here's uh, how I do it. With the center vein, and then the secondary vein, veins. Because, like, uh, you can see I, I'm redefining all the time. Th this original stroke is like that. Okay, I turn it a little bit and combine several strokes into one big leaf, right? Mm -hmm. Here is another leaf. You may not see it on the uh, video, maybe. Can you see that vein? Mm -hmm. Do we? Okay. Yeah, if you look at against the light, you can see better. Even on the dark part, you need dark leaf, you need to do this. Otherwise, uh, when you frame, you will show the absence of things. So this is a uh, calligraphy part, like a grass style calligraphy, when you write fast cursive style calligraphy, you kind of combine leaves. See, this, this one, I, I may combine this two into a big leaf, half and a half. This. I just uh, define according to the situation. <laughs> See, I combine this two into one. That's, uh, but you don't do it on purpose in the beginning or right here. You, I, there is still open to many other possibilities. You can follow this trend in this, uh, to do this, or you can totally turn it around to make it this part. This is the tip. You can, you can, you can make this part is the tip. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends on if it comes from this way or that way. You know, that's totally up to you. Um, so that's just do the radical way, so I can, I, I paint it this way, I don't have to draw the veins this way, and I just do it this way. So I, I put the center right in, you know, in the middle, uh, horizontally, so it, it has like a perspective, like side view or something, you see, mm -hmm. that, that's how I define it. Here is the same idea. Uh, you can divide this into any way you like. Uh, don't worry about the original stroke. You can you can do. You can combine this part, you know, into. See, this is a leaf. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. You can go outside. Mm -hmm. you can, you can, uh, just you can know the original shape. Let's and then re redefine. The, here is the absence of stroke. That's fine. That's interesting, right? To create uh, something. So you're not just putting the veins, and you're actually outlining the, the outside of the leaf too. Um, good question. I don't outline the outside. Let me show you here. Uh, it kind of uh, the second secondary vein kind of wrap it uh, look like outline. Oh, I see. But uh, yeah, that's a good question because. A common mistake is uh, you draw the uh, you draw this line the opposite way. So if you look at this handout, mm -hmm. this goes around it, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, some student may draw the li line like that. Uh -huh. That's that's totally wrong. Oh, so it's not really yeah. Okay. yeah, it should go uh, down, down uh, okay. inside inward. Uh -huh. So you, you cannot wrap it up. That's that's the reason. Uh -huh. I, yeah. okay. okay, so let's see. How to apply this principle? So I draw this center vein. Right? This is a perfect uh, shape, so I want to keep that. So this kind of wrap it up, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the vein. And this one is a notch there. It's a notch. This is another leaf. You don't have to draw. Uh, it's like behind this stem, mm -hmm. so you can you can use the, the concept of a void. You know, just avoid it. And this part, uh, you can show it like that. So the, the, the tip is longer. I mean, the shorter, the bottom is longer. Like this, this tip is, is more dense here, right? And then the, the bottom, like that. I exaggerate. So it could be something between. So do you do 
put on every single leaf, pretty much. Um, it, say I always Except want yeah, you know, those that, that yeah, it's the, the dark brown. So this could be lighter. You can use some uh, rouge uh, also. Yeah, pretty much every leaf you, you, you need the vein. You, you yeah. need. But uh, some you know, like this could be blurry. Okay. It's interesting to have some something like shade, shadow. Unless, yeah, pretty much the, the ones in front, and uh, depends on the conversation that uh, needs. You, know, you, you can you can omit some, you can make some loose, you know, some. So there's a difference of a detail, of solid and void here than here, right? So it's not even. Mm -hmm. it's, you can vary the color also. Uh, here you can totally omit that. Now, would you put the little um, pollen stems in both of those, or would the red one not show the little pollen stems? The stamens. Yeah, the stamens. stamens. Oh, yeah. Let me, let, me, let me do that. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, yeah, we, ha we haven't finished this part yet. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Um, first of all, I would uh, do, uh, you should see a little seed. Like a, I will put some green, green, ye yellow, green, and white mix. And, uh, some gray, maybe just mute it. So this is the seed, right? And you don't see that inside. Mm, okay. Okay, now the stamen. Uh, use a small brush. Look at this small brush, small weasel brush. Any small weasel brush. And then just use this one. It's a clean one. This is what we call it a happy dot. Uh, in Chinese, DNA. DNA yeah. means to dot. Uh, may means, it's a, for the calyx. Yeah, mei hua, mei hua stamen in the calyx. So that's perfect for this. Right? So uh, let me get some white. We use some white. To, to make it uh, opaque. So you, it will cover the red if you dot on the red. And uh, some yellow. Get some more white. You can keep the colors in, in a plastic. This way it will not dry. Oh. Yeah. Just uh, <laughs> a little tip. That's why I use the plastic. The weather here is so dry. Mm. So about half or more, uh, two thirds white, one portion yellow. And the, the brush is fully loaded, so I can uh, paint very heavy lines. Very fine to cover the, the red. Dense and sparse also contrast. And on this one, uh, maybe the white won't show on the um, white, so we may add some uh, orange color. We just use orange, yellow. Maybe just orange. in front. Just make this in contrast. I think that's it. Uh, this could be uh, redefined. If you think this uh, area 
too big, you can you can have another layer, just like you can change the shape when it's a little dry a little bit. So we don't really have to worry about whether single pedal or double pedal. Oh, double yeah. pedal, single pedal. Uh, yeah. We usually do the double pedal ones. Single pedal, uh, just one layer. You mean oh. that's uh, very uh, different. I, I think we would probably, in most cases, do the multiple, okay. multiple one. Yeah. Double pedal, multiple pedal. That's a that's a demo. I didn't really pay attention on the you know, on the composition. The tree peony should have this uh, woody stand. Uh, that, uh, let's see if I can add a few to the top. Usually it's uh, on the bottom. But, uh, let's see if it should be gone. But the wood part should be uh, dry. Right? So my the brush is relatively dry. I just draw this uh, part. Now you can push the brush mm. to get the coarse strokes. Uh, mm. just to get the brush split a little bit like that. It indicates the dryness of this. Is it why? It's not good. <laughs> Maybe a little uh, on top. Mm. Not too much. Part into the wood and this goes up. Mm. I have to make the uh, other. Definition could be suggested. Okay, now um, you can dot the, the butt. Simpler uh, composition, just one flower, one one uh, one big, one small petal, um, uh, one bud. Just make it uh, simple. simple. Can, can you do one um, the flower smaller, but I see more of the branches? Yeah, yeah. You can start uh, from the leaf and the branch. Okay. That's uh, that's uh, what uh, I think you should. Yeah, I don't so know how the branch, the, the relation. Is peony a bush or bush? Uh, bush it's like a bush. Roses? I saw uh, some in Hotel, in, but they're not blooming the past the season, but I still see that it's like a, this tall. Like oh. a, yeah, so it's bush. So the, okay. the branch uh, is a, not uh, die in the winter, the okay. tree peony. It looks like this. So you, you, I, I use. Uh, Chanda Chen ox ear brush. This is a new one. It's a smaller. So this is, is a stiff brush. Stiff brush. Okay. Yeah, you you can we push. We use mountain horse with that. Uh, yeah, mountain horse or or weasel or, okay. or other brush. Uh, it's okay. So a beige uh -huh. for for the bristle. So this is the the tree peony kind of branches. Uh -huh. um, And then uh, in the spring they start to take uh, uh, sprouts or the sprouts come out, right? So it's uh, in kind of green color, some red. So that's that's where they the started. But I just painted the the way they grow. Okay? So this is the spring. In early spring they start to shoot. The, the, leaf, the leaf and the 
So gradually they grow, uh, become a, each stem may you know, have this, uh, uh, the leaf comes out. So now I'm going to do the leaf, I think. Um, so you can do the leaves before the flowers. Flowers here. So I use this uh, silver wash brush. I just use this leftover A little. <coughs> uh, I have some indigo here. Indigo is uh, ink to do the leaves. Some more. So this is a, uh, a classical uh, way to do the leaves. It's a dark, and then we'll gradually turn lighter and lighter. Okay. And uh, you can hand the leaf downward, and uh, the young leaves may go upwards also. Because like a group of uh, nine. Like I mentioned, but this uh, don't have to be same. Uh, so you can combine this two this together, you know, and then one like that so on the on the stem. Like this, okay, just idea. I have to make a simplify all the elements into fewer. We call it. Uh, uh, San San Fan Jiu Jian. San Chiu Shu. San Fan Jiu Jian means to trim off oh. the complexity into simplicity. Uh, okay. Just like you trim the flower in, in the autumn, in late autumn, okay. when you paint, you, you can cut off the branches and the, the leaves, just like you do a flower arrangement. <coughs> and then, Biao uh, Xin Li Er Yue Hua. Uh, to to make uh, to create uh, something fresh and new, different, you know, special as uh, the uh, flowers in the spring. So that's uh, what the the idea is. So you you, you paint leaves like uh, in the late autumn to make it simple, and just add water to to some more leaves. Behind. Three. You can combine two groups to make it uh, more complicated. So the leaves could go downward or upward, depending. On Depends on the the, ten, uh, the structural tendency. Mm -hmm. The the composition. Yeah. So now I can do a flower behind this. Uh, let's just do without too much uh, color. You can just start from the center. It's dark, right? use the, the shape of the brush. You can you can kind of push horizontally to change the, the shape. Otherwise it will look all look like this. Yeah. It's not, not very good. <laughs> so, you, yeah. so you Okay, so I, I know that's the problem that I have. I tend to go one mm. two three like that. Yeah. So you, you can you can you can So use you don't actually leave the paper, the brush is kind of sliding on the yeah, paper. Slide, keep pushing. Yeah, you can you can uh, try keep pushing like that, and you can you can use partial brush mm -hmm. to do smaller dots in the behind the the previous layer, okay. you know, the fill in the space a little bit. But the dark should be in the center, mm -hmm. so this part should be lighter. This is behind. Light. So dark is in the center. And another 
when you have two flowers, one should be bigger, right? This could be guest, this could be the, the host, or oh, this is the host, this would be the guest. Um, you should just do the, the smaller one. Strokes to create more interesting shape, but on rice paper each stroke is distinct, mm -hmm. so you cannot really blend them. Just leave it, and you can integrate them with the. So once you put that on strip, you don't want to go over it again. No, right? you can you can change it with uh, other strokes like the veins, uh -huh. vein, vein. Yeah, you define it. Uh, you can use other color like red and you know, different color. Um, so I try to create all the leaves like in a wind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see the color tends to separate from the ink. That's because the ink is overnight. Mm. It, it won't bleed with the color. Mm -hmm. uh, Western watercolor also tends to do that with the ink. That's nice. I like that. Uh, sometimes we don't want that. So that's uh, basically a simplified. Uh, you can see the, the different parts. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, time to do the veins. Use a stiff brush, a small uh, whistle brush, or the I use a landscape with a red whisker landscape brush. Okay. And you can you can make this more abstract. Just go straight without the curve. That's fine. I did the one the other one rounded. Right? This time I try try to be more abstract. Just do straight, but not the same like comb. You know, the, the distance varies. Okay. You can even um, uh, let me show you. like uh, use dry brush and wet because it's uh, bleed less. This is uh, nice, but you don't, you have to do it when it's still damp. See that I use very dry brush to create the, the veins. Very the distance. This takes uh, some practice. This actually shows uh, artist uh, creativity better than more than the flowers. How you define the leaves. You know. So I create some perspective. You can, you can see just that tip. You can see like half leaf or something like that. And uh, on this lighter ones, you can add uh, uh, red to it. Yeah, here you can you can combine several strokes into one as we talked earlier. Really. And you can divide them if you need, according to the shape of the leaf. And you don't have to do all of them, just be suggestive. And the, the carrots, I mean the stamen could be done with darker roots. Past. It, uh, to me, 
more realistic, you can, you can do the color. It's a little green, a little red, maybe. In the center, like peach color. <laughs> now, uh, yellow, this area. Yellow, white, so the double yeah. shen is less absorbent or more absorbent? Uh, less absorbent, less more absorbent. Uh, more absorbent, less bleed because okay. it's more absorbent, it, it goes okay. deeper. So the single shen will be more bleeding? Bleeding horizontally, yeah. Okay. This is bleed in, inside. inside. Okay. It absorbs more, but uh, bleed mm -hmm. less. This is double shen. According to your request, we try to indicate the whole tree. Mm -hmm. 